<laughs> so hello, hello, everybody. Good morning. <clears throat> I just wanted to see how y'all were doing. I've been up for a little while. I have my own. Um, my Archangel Oracle cards with me. So for those of you who catch this, either live or in the replay, just wanted to pull some angel messages for you real quick. What your angels want to start you with today. <laughs> or reset your start with. <laughs> Depending on how your day started. <laughs> Good, would you like us to receive for today? What would you like us to receive? There we go. Healthy lifestyle, Archangel Raphael. Eat a healthy diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regular, regularly for optimal health. Four types of health. Mind you. There's four types of health. Physical health, mental health, emotional health, and spiritual health or psychological health, whatever you want to call that one. Okay? There's four things that make us feel happy, healthy, and whole. Make sure all of them are checked off. Okay? It's great to feel great physically, but if your emotional state sucks or your mental state sucks and you're stressed out and spiritually you just feel disconnected in all your relationships, because that's what that is. Our connection to our spirituality reflects in our relationships with others, the outer experience, right? Reflecting from our inner. So take notice to all of these things. Things can shift and that's okay. You know, if obviously if one of those states is not in good health, you would like it to shift into better health. Sometimes that requires things in our physical 3D experience to change, in our relationships to change, in our thoughts to change, and our feelings to change for the better. Call in Archangel Raphael. He is the Archangel he, of divine healing within the self. He heals the heart chakra. He heals the heart chakra. All right, let's pull. Let's pull two more. Let's pull two more. <laughs> and two flew out. <laughs> I love it. All right. So, first one. Good morning. The first one is compassion with Archangel Zad Kiel. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, yourself included. Don't be so hard on yourself and others. Archangel Zadkiel, I do believe, um, is one of, I believe, the Archangel of the Akashic Records. Okay? So when he says, have compassion, soften your heart with respect to the situation, know that you have all been with each other for a very long time in retrospect no matter who is close to you in your life whether they're family, friends, co-workers partners children you've all known each other a very long time and we don't always understand the magnitude of the healing that we signed up for in order to help them on a soul level in their highest good. When our states of health, ours or the people we care about, are struggling, 
We have to have compassion. Because when we heal these things within ourself, if we remove ourself from an unhealthy situation or circumstance or relationship, we are also removing that unhealthy emotional state. We are also removing that unhealthy relationship from the person that we care about's life. And even if that hurts sometimes, don't be so hard on yourself or others for how you deal with the shifts into better health. Have the courage, which is the second card, to do Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. It is the integrity of your soul. Speak up loudly and clearly in your actions and your words so that it reflects that. If you do believe that all of these things are important in order to be fulfilled, please understand that everybody will eventually have those things when you start with yourself just have to have the courage to do it you just have to have the courage to do it clearly and loudly so that it cannot be mistaken and do it with kindness and compassion so that it aligns with a high vibrational level of health for everyone nothing needs Ever to shift in negative ways, explosive ways, <sighs> sad, sobbing, misunderstood ways. It doesn't have to be like that. If you understand the balance of these and can truly understand that people are going to react and that's okay. And that's okay because you're going to anticipate it and support it. It's all right. You're just going to do it anyway. Because even if they can't necessarily see or understand the bigger picture, right? Our bigger soul picture with Archangel Zadkiel. Even if they can't see it, a part of their soul still senses it just like you. And when you're done, you know, that 99% mark to 100 lying to yourself when you finally make that click into 100% you get to live in your truth that's when everything aligns and changes when you have the courage to take that extra 1% to just be honest and kind and hold that integrity of self with everything sometimes we have to do it in steps because removing it as one huge chunk would be way too much for anyone, which is why the universe gives us time. It gives us time. It has an endless amount of time to give should we so choose it. We run out of time when we run out of patience with ourselves. We get put in situations where we are up against a wall and now we're facing a new reality because we ran out of patience with ourselves and our own healing and that's why it's reflecting in the outer as time ran out. Because our souls are like, you need to learn this and you're late, you know? Just take the steps, one step at a time to the next step to the next step if there's a bunch of little teeny steps in between this big step and that big step then just start with the teeny steps it's fine you'll get there hold compassion and remember how important it is to consider this for everyone call an Archangel Raphael to help you with that call him into yourself and to the aid of the others that you love and care about should they choose in their prayers to receive that between self and self love everyone unconditionally along the journey 
You've all been here before. It's not the last time you will be there for each other. I promise you that. It's not the last time you will be there for each other. All circumstance is temporary. That's the beauty of our choices. That's the beauty of change. We always get to choose healthier. We always get to choose understanding and compassion. We always get to choose to stand up for what we truly believe in soul deep. And it's healing for everyone. So that is the message going out for today, guys. I hope it helps you. I will see you all tomorrow for the cosmic energies with the eclipse. And I will see all of you guys in the group for Love Yourself and Zodiac if you signed up. If you haven't signed up for the Zodiac uh, group yet for all the extendeds for July, you can do that until July 5th. I extended that one just because I got a lot going on. Um, if anybody wants to join the Love Yourself group, that group is still accepting admissions, I believe, for another two hours from now um, when I'm recording this. And you can still sign up for the moon event until 11 o'clock tonight if you want to be a part of the moon event for the eclipse that I'm doing tomorrow on Facebook. Um, that's a private closed group, so you get the invite, and I do all the lives in there, and you get to watch all the replays and all that stuff. So if anybody wants um, any information on that, you can reach out to me through Divine Rebel Readings, the business page. Okay? Because my PMs are already backed up, guys. Don't get it twisted. It didn't stay empty more than, like, two seconds. <laughs> it's already back up there. So, I love you all. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. Just know my love is with you always. Until next time, guys. Love each other, and most importantly, love yourselves. Bye.